Hi guys, good morning. I'll skip the intro and all that stuff. You can see below in the description whatsoever you want to see. Let's quickly jump to the question. Number of ways to earn points. So the problem says that we uh, there is a test that has n type of questions. Okay, n type of questions, and we are given an integer called as a target and a zero index 2D array where it represents the 2D array is called as a types array and it has counts and marks, which means that one element of that is a pair or a vector of counts and marks and indicates that count of i questions of the i type and each each question is of worth marks i points so which means that there are count of i number of questions and each questions is of marks i points okay and we have to find the number of ways to earn exactly target points in the exam since the answer may be very large because the number of ways number of ways it can be very large so it's said that you give the modular answer cool uh, now it just said that for example if there are three questions of the same type so basically uh, you can't do that okay one two three and three two one like it's more or less same for it so yeah we have to just find the number of ways of choosing from the types. So let's see this example, example one, and it's more than sufficient to understand this question fully. So the target here is six, which means that I have to score exactly six points. Cool. Uh, so when I say exactly six points, which means that my when I iterate on my array of types, of vector of types, is the first thing, the first pair, the first type. Let's say its name is type 1, it's type 2, it's type 3. So it says that the first thing is what? It's counts. And the next thing in it is the marks of one count, which means that number of counts are, let's say, you can say the count as question and each question has one mark. So basically the questions are six and each question has one marks. That's it. So now uh, it says that, okay, let's see how it find that answer. So if I just visualize that thing that, okay, if I have six counts and each count is of one marks, so what all possible marks I can get? I can one, I can get a one marks. I can get a two marks in total. How? Because the questions are two and each question has one mark. Cool. The questions are three. Each question has one mark. So similarly, I can get four marks, five marks, six marks. Because of this, a type one. Let's see of type two. It just says that there are three questions and each question is of two marks. Which means that I can get a two marks by using only one question. I can get a four marks by using two questions. And I can get a three marks. I can get a three marks sorry, a six marks by using three questions of two marks each. Cool. Now we got this and like for type three, it says that we have two questions, both of three marks. So I can get a three marks by using one question of three marks and a six by using two questions of three marks. Now uh, it said that I need to achieve a target of six. So let's see, like I will not go into the like nitty gritties, but I'll just visualizing you the example. For getting six, if I'm standing at three, which means I have got three marks right now. So the remaining marks are what? Three. So to get the remaining three marks, I just move back to the previous types and so, okay, can I get a three marks out of all the possible ways? So you can easily see that if I do something like this, I get a two marks from here and one marks from here. So addition will get a three marks. I, I got a, a three marks from here and one of the three marks I can already get from here which is this so in total the number of ways to get the remaining three I choose this particular three now I wanted a six I got this three now I wanted a remaining three so this remaining three to get this remaining three we had these two ways one way and second way so in total to get this six by choosing this three I have two ways one is this one and one is this one. Got it? Okay. So, and what are, because as you can clearly see, the answer was seven, right? I just showed you one of the methods that, okay, here you got two ways. So, remaining five, I'll show you now. One way is to get the six from directly from here. 
I got the six marks. I'm happy. One way is to get six directly from the here. I got six marks. I'm happy. One way is to get four from here and two from here. I got six marks. I'm happy. One way is get the two from here and four from here. I get six marks. I'm happy. One way is to get six from here. I got six marks. I'm happy. Now you easily saw one thing, right? Which I showed you above. If you are standing at a particular marks in total, in C, I can get three marks. Now I want the remaining marks. So if I can see by any how I can get the number of ways to get the remaining marks, which means I'm standing at three. I want the remaining three, the number of ways to get this remaining three. Let's say if it, it, it would have been four and my target would have been a seven. So I still wanted a three. So number of ways to get the remaining three, I can just add in my existing number of ways to get this uh, seven. So basically I wanted a seven. I just add, let's say what's our number of ways to get the seven so far. Let's say it is X. So now I wanted, okay. By using this four, four, I used number of ways to get the three. Let's say the number of ways to get three was two. So in total, the number of ways to get seven, we'll just add two because now after using four, I can get more two ways. Let's visualize it much better. So basically I have, let's say these four types, one, two, three, and four, right? C1 indicates the count and M1 indicates the marks. So basically I have C1 question and each question of M1 marks. And here C2, M2, C3, M3, C4, M4. So if I see what all marks are possible of type one, it will be nothing but one into M1, a two into M M1, a C in, up till up to C into M1, right? Same goes for a type two. It will be one into M2, two into M2, up to C into C2 into M2. So it just shows me, okay, what all possible marks are there for respective types. Right. I will just get all the possible marks of respective types. Now, if I'm standing at this particular marks, okay, I have got this marks. If I choose this marks, now what is the remaining marks I want? The remaining marks I want will be nothing but whatsoever target I have minus because I have already I'm standing here standing here. So I already have the particular marks. This which is two into M4. Now I want remaining was a target minus two into M4. So it will be remaining marks, which I want want from where from this whole previous thing, which so I have got so far. So to get this remaining marks, what I can do is I can just pre compute it, right? So I can just make a thing like let's say DP, which is actually see is the basic problem of knapsack, which means that you are allowed to choose or not to choose a marks here as in knapsack we choose balls here in this case we choose marks but i am visualizing from scratch that okay we don't know knapsack and all that stuff but still we are able to do this same question so now we need to visualize as number of ways to get any marks let's say this i will store okay ways to get i marks by this help what i will be able to do is if I'm standing at this thing, so I can just say, okay, just give me DP of three. It will give me the number of ways to get three as the total marks. And it will be nothing but two right here. So if I am computing for, let's say, what was my target? It was six, right? So if I, it, it was three here. So if it was six, so I'm standing at three, right? The number of ways to get remaining three was two. So in total from here number of ways to get a six would be two because three here and the remaining three was from the branches two right there i can just add in the number of ways to get six because because of this particular three number of ways to get six would be increased by two right and i can just go on and doing like because of this six also one will be added because of this six one will be added because of this four and this two, a one will be added. So with this, I can get a, a DP, which means it will store. Okay. What are the number of ways to get this particular marks, which is, let's say here it is six. Let's see more very elaborately how it happened. So if I again go back onto the first problem, which is a type one, a type two and type three, 
I took the same exactly same thing. I just reduced the numbers. I did it for six. I just reduced it to four. Now we have four questions of one marks each. Okay. Uh, three questions of a two marks each and a two questions of three marks each. So now let's say if we are at six and now I change something that okay. Now I just see why I change it because I want to elaborate more. Okay. For all possible cases we can miss. I'll show you right now. So if you are standing and we want a target of nine and we are standing at six for the six, if I want a nine, I have a six school. I have a six school. What I want is a three. So you can easily see one option is the three right here, but we can't take it. No, because from a type, it said that, okay, the marks, all possible marks I can get is from the previous ones. It's not possible to get into the same type marks because from the same, from the one type, I can get some number of marks out of it. So if I got this marks, I just see, okay, uh, what are ways to get the remaining marks from this remaining part. Now I just, okay, but let's see where, where all I can go. I will just see and check everyone behind it, everyone behind it. For that, I'm just visualizing how I'm checking everyone behind it. For this two, let's say we are about to check. Okay. So what earlier would have been done was this two would have computed everything, which means that it would have computed with this help of two as we are computing right now with this help of six, how I'm able to get nine, right? So this two would also have pre-computed. Okay. With the help of two, how he would be able to get a nine, a eight, a seven, a six, a four, a five, and so on. So basically with this help of two, it would have pre-computed how it will be able to get a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one for not sure because already it's two. So it can't get a one. Okay, cool. Now with this two, I can get, okay. How many number of ways are there to get that number? Let's say I choose a five. So how many number of ways are there to get this number five? with the help of this two, as we are computing how many number of phase are there to get this nine with the help of this six, right? So basically here we are at six, we wanted a three. So we asked, okay, hey two, or basically we asked, hey, what is the TP of three? So it will say, okay, a TP of three will be a two using this two and a one. Here I one set was with the help of the previous one, which is right here. So it just shows me, okay, we have a one way. See bracket here directly means one way. A bracket here, it means one. It's a one way possible. It's not a count of ways. Okay. So it just showed me, okay, to get this a DP of three, to get this a DP of three, if I choose a two, so I can get another one, which is actually, I will again find, okay, what's a DP of one here? So basically I will return a TP of three, which is the number of ways to get three as a sum. And here with the help of two, it pre-computes or it computes. Okay. With the help of me as a two, how I can help a three. So I have to achieve standing at two. I have to achieve three as a target. Its aim is that because as we are standing at six, so our aim was a nine. So here at standing at two, his aim is a three. To achieve a three. So it just said, okay, I can use myself as a two and a one from previous thing, which is here. Okay, cool. Now again, like it's not it, it, right. A DP of three can also be computed by this three. Maybe why not? So maybe it just said, okay, with the help of three, my target achievement is itself a three. So I'm a three. My target achievement is a three. So I'll just say, okay, one ways from here. So basically TP of three will add one way from here, one way from here, one way from here. It will give me two ways. So whenever I will call a DP of three, it will return me two ways. A DP of three will return me a two, as you can see here. So with the help of this, I can just add because now I'm standing at nine, right? I want a target of nine. I'm standing at six. So standing at six, I wanted a nine my TP of three, which means six plus three. So TP of three 
it gave me two, which means that the number of ways to get nine because of this particular six would be two. I hope that you guys got it. If not that, you can just visualize it. Okay, I have to take something. I, I'm standing at, let's say X. I want a target minus X. Number of ways to get that target minus X is what we need to add to get this target. Now, I just told like exactly the same thing in words for you to read more. So it's only the thing which we have to do. If you are standing at a number, we just need to, we at every point, at every point, at every marks, I should say, at every marks, I just compute, okay, what all possible marks I can achieve out of that. We have to do the same thing. Let's see the code and let's quickly see, okay, how it actually happens. So I just iterate on every type as I'm iterating on every type from here to here, right? Now on every type, I just, okay, have the counts of questions and the marks of questions. Cool. Then I iterate on every target as I showed you, right? For every number, for every number, I just need to go on to every target, which means 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Because, because of this standing at 4, how many ways are there to achieve 9? I'm st as in this example, uh, which is the best, yeah. As in this example, standing at 2, what was the base of getting a 3? Just same thing. So I am going on every target, which means 9, 8, 7, like what's the maximum is there. And you can easily see that I'm going from starting to end, which means I'm not going from 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going from 4, 3, 2, 1, which means I'm going from back. Why? I showed you right here. Uh, yeah, here I just had a 6. I didn't have this 3 right here because I just wanted to go back. I just wanted to look back. Now I just move on to every count, which means I move on to every question. Now every question will have marks into count. Now the marks for every, let's say, the question right here, we choose one question. Okay, we choose two questions. So basically, a count is number of questions we choose into marks. So in total, the marks would be the count of number of questions. If this is not, if this is more than zero, only then it's good to actually look into it because as I showed you right here, if 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 it, it goes negative, so it's no point to go into that score. So I just iterated on that. So I am iterating on every count, which means I'm iterating on every of this a type thing and after that i just say okay to achieve that here it is let's say nine to achieve that nine what is a dp of three if i'm standing at my six six which is achieved by marks marks was here marks was three so marks was three my count was two i'm standing at whatsoever i'm standing at six I'm standing at 6 because the marks was 3 and the count was 2. My target was to achieve a 9 because I'm trying to achieve every number, right? I'm showing for example, I'm achieving 9. So I just need to count the number of ways to get a 3, which is nothing but 9 minus 6. I, which is 9, minus 6, which is this particular count. It's 3. So this is a, it's just the number of ways to get this particular 3. I hope that you guys enjoyed the problem. Its complexity is nothing but... Uh, target into n into count because see you are iterating on the n because the vector of this is of length types is of n here you are iterating on every uh, a target and here you are iterating on every count which is all itself a 50 that's the reason you can easily see that your complexity is this I hope that you guys understood that it that okay if you are standing on a number we want to get the remaining part of the number if I am standing on 6 I want to achieve a 9 so I need to find the number of ways to get a 3 and just I can just add it so as to get the 9 number of ways to get 9 and in total we can just return the target because it was the actual final thing which we wanted to return I hope that you guys uh, understood and enjoyed if yes do the like button and yeah see you guys next video until then goodbye